Told you up Hall. here at number four. That's how she got through to the semis. And, uh, well, the See, in the second round, she beat Eva Mayoli, yep. love and one. And Eva Mayoli just missed getting seated here. She's uh, 18 in the world, and she's the French Open champion last year. She's having a tough time, though, isn't it? Isn't she? <laughs> now we're back to the live action with Toziat one love in the third set. Zverev is serving. And in the fourth round, love. Natalie Toziat took out Sam Smith, who is uh, from England, and she got all kinds of press for beating Conchita Martinez, the eighth seed, and former Wimbledon champion back in lot, 1994. Got a lot of press for a day, she didn't sure she? She sure did. She is the first English person to go as far as she did the fourth round since Joe Dury did it in 85. just to see how uh, 15 tough old. mentally Zverev is in this third set. Way up in the air, that one, an easy put away volley. You mentioned both these girls very accustomed and their games are very much suited to the grass courts. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. Danger time now for Zvereva. She's got to steady herself and get the mind on the job. Fifteen forty. Too many double faults in this match. Uh, the very bad time to bring one up there. Two break points now for Tosiat. Volley there. Got a lot of work on the ball. 30 40. And Zvereva does a good job to keep moving forward. Takes a pretty big swing. And look at all that spin so the ball hits and swings away. She's been very calm through the championships, Zvereva, in her interviews and uh, in her application as far as getting out there and concentration. Freewheeling now, Toziat, growing in confidence. Two games to love now. Ms. Tozia leads two games to love. Final She's set. hit this backhand well. She moves in, cuts the angle off, and finds the opening down the line. Talked about how much Toziat likes this surface and how naturally uh, she, well she plays on this surface. She's won four singles titles, and two of them have been on grass. She won Birmingham last year and Eastbourne back in 95. And the other two tournaments she, she's won have been indoors on a pretty fast hard court. Love 15. Well, now's the time to break back immediately. You've lost serve. You've got to try and put the pressure back on your opponent straight away. She's won the first point. Fifteen all.
like to welcome our viewers in South Australia. Bringing you up to date in the first of our ladies semi-finals here. Toziat and Zvereva. It's one set all. Zvereva won the first set convincingly. Six games to one. Toziat served at 5-3 for the second set. This young lady broke back. Got it back to six all but lost the tie, tiebreaker. And now it is Toziat who's taken control in the third set. It's two love. She leads 30-15. Close from Toziat. You can see the little clenched fist there. She knows she's very close. 30, 30. Terrific balance and just good quick feet. Always moves forward through the volley. Game point. So Toziak has a quick look at her opponent up the other end. Statistics on the match so far, Betsy? Well, really, if you look at these numbers, it really looks like Zverva should be winning this match. She's got more first serves in. Hasn't served as many uh, aces as Toziak, just one less. But she's winning more points on first serve. Big difference is the points one on yep. second serve. That's the slight difference. And, uh, that's why she's in front three love in the third set. That was a cracking backhand there. Again, love. great hands from Zvereva to pick this one up. <laughs> she makes this look very easy. 15 love. That's a better serve. Servers left her momentarily or for love. a few games. She needs it badly now. 30 love. Well, she really does need to get first serves in so that she can get to the net and keep Toziat from getting up there. Well, it showed up in the points one on second serve. She only won 40% of the points on her second serve. Another opportunity for Toziat to start dictating the point from the baseline. Well, this is a great little pickup from the back of the court. Toziat takes a big step and just catches it out in front, plays a half volley from the baseline. Gets behind the flight of the ball and just goes through the path of the ball and it stayed in court, so 30-15. Net first service. Forty fifteen. Brilliant save from Zvereva from deep in the court. There's a cracking forehand from Toziat. Puts her on the board. Watch this yeah, one. And Zvereva can do, can do this. Look where she's standing. I mean, she's only a couple feet inside set. the baseline, but she has the best hands in the game. Took yeah. that one right in the corner. Toziat, no chance to chase it down. Uh, it's three games to one, Toziat. Just the one service break. 
15 love. Well, her serve has improved as this match has gone on, Toziat. That's a tough shot that Toziat plays. It's difficult to hit the ball that hard inside out and keep your direction. She can slice it, she can hit over it. 40 love. And this is a very good service game for Toziat. Just what she needed. An easy game here, and she has a little bit more confidence. Stretch. Zverova did not think that one was going to come back. Totally here at Wimbledon, number one court, just been in operation a couple of years. Centre court there onto the right of your screen. And on the other side, that car park, well, it's forever full during the championships, even when it's raining. Not so many folks out there watching the big screen today. At the moment, there's no Brits playing. And uh, a lot of it is just centre court tickets and number one court tickets. As Natalie Toziat. Leads four games to one in the third and final set, looking to get to her first Grand Slam final. 15 love. And this, Betsy, is when it gets pretty difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be nice if you could just block out the occasion and uh, end the score. And she's never been in this position. Semi final of a Grand Slam. Way. She is aggressive. She stayed aggressive right from the start of this third set. 15 all. Match following this, the second of the ladies' single semi-finals. Jana Novotna, the veteran, against Martina Hingis. Youth against experience. Oh! 40-15. from Toziat. Tozia leads you know, she's four getting games close to, to the line. Final it's set. four games to two. She still has the break of serve. Terrific return from Sverva off a good first serve. She kept it down low, forcing Toziat to have to play a half volley. Yeah. 
15 all. Not a great half volley, but that's all she needed. It forced uh, Zvereva to try and make the pass on the run. 30-15. Well. This is when the nerves come into play. As experienced as Toziat is, again, you can see her trying to take a deep breath to get the muscles a little relaxed. 30 all. The 16th seed. <laughs> Fabulous shot. Now she played a second serve and stayed back. She double faulted the previous one and hung in there. It was a pretty deep approach and she just held her ground and found the opening right down the line. Boy, she's hit her backhand well today. Again, she gets behind the flight of the ball. You think she liked that one? 40-30. Called wide. Zverova doesn't like the call and can see things slipping away gradually. Goes up to the number 16 seed. Natalie Toziat. Five games to two. She seems to be in control. Will nerves take over or will she go on with it? This young lady has had the best Wimbledon of her career. Taking out Steffi Graf, Monica Sellis. She comes out now to serve to stay in the match. for service. This is a well-played point from Zvereva. She's hugged that baseline, took this backhand early. A little too far behind Toziat, couldn't control it. 15, love. Well, you can see now Toziat just shaking the head a little bit, knowing that now 40 love. She's probably got to serve for the match here in a moment. Fifteen. 
game is Rado. Good serve from Zverev. That wide again to the forehand. There's the scoreline. Five games to three. Tosiat leads. Five leads. Games to three. Final and set. Serve for a place in the final. Mentioned the last French woman to do that was Francoise Dur in 1970. She is here, sitting up in the players' area, supporting Tosiat. She is pretty much in charge of women's tennis in France. Zverva playing very alert tennis, taking the second serve and coming in behind it. Love 15. And Toziat desperately will want to get some first serves in, maybe even take a little bit off it so that she doesn't have to play second serves. Fifteen all. Good first serve. Deep breathing again. Well, the coaches will tell you between points, just try and take a couple of deep breaths to relax the muscles. 15 all. Oh, yeah, fine serve again. Yep, yeah, two good first serves from Toziat. 30-15. Very athletic, still very, very quick around the court. Very good overhead. Gone wide. 40-15. So, very pensive Nat Natasha Zverova now after missing that passing shot. Two match points. Yeah! Well, not of a lot of emotion during the match, but it didn't take long for the squeals to come out after. Look at this. That's fabulous. She's gone one better than Francoise Durr in 1970. She's into her first Grand Slam final, and what a huge thrill, Betsy, and well done. Oh, it's just, you know, unbelievable that at age 30, when there's so much talk about the young players that are coming through, that Natalie Toziak can be playing her very best tennis of her career. This is her, her first ever Grand Slam final, and uh, boy, is she enjoying this moment. And there's Frankie Durr on the right side of your screen there. She says, well, I got to the semifinals in 1970. Good luck. You've done it. She's a member of the Federation Cup team and, boy, has earned her victory here today. And uh, she lost the first set, as Betsy mentioned, very, very nervous to start off. off but she may be ready to do it. The reaction of Tosia when uh, she won that match, it was like she'd won the final. I mean, has she peaked too early? I mean, she hasn't won it yet. It's a semifinal. Well, I, I think I commented to you, Kenny, and I said, uh, who said Wimbledon doesn't matter to some people? I mean, you know, here's a, a French woman uh, out there and that's probably as excited as she's ever been in her life. It was uh, just such a joyous moment for her and great to see. Well, to call the action here, uh, we've got uh, Liz Smiley and Tony Trabert. Looking forward to this one. All right, Ken, thanks very much. That's umpire Fiona Edwards flipping the coin. And Hingis has won the toss. And we'll just have to wait and see if she elected to serve or elected to receive. The ceremonial photos taken. This was uh, Liz, the, the final here last year. Which Hingis won in three sets. It will be interesting to see if Novotna does serve or volley, uh, serve or return. Yesterday against Venus Williams, she won the toss and elected to receive. Figured that she'd like to sort of work her way into the match a little bit. She didn't start off serving and volleying yesterday, which I think surprised both of us, Tony. Yeah, the first five games, I don't think she went the net once and was down 1-4. And then she started to attack uh, both off her own serve and on returns of serve of second serves of Venus Williams and, and got her rolling and won in straight sets. 
I don't think that uh, Hingis is playing as well at this moment as she did a year ago. I agree with you. Certainly the first couple of matches we saw at the championships this year, her form wasn't fantastic. Her attitude wasn't great. Um, she certainly improved since then, but I would agree that uh, her form isn't as good as last year. Look at Novotna here, ranked number three, seeded three here, and her, her highest ranking ever was two in the world. A match record this year, 33 and nine. And born in the Czech Republic and now lives in Belgium. And uh, it is experience against youth, though Hingis uh, has a lot of experience for her young age of 17. She's number one in the world and seated number one here. 42 and 5, 1998 record. Born in Slovakia and now lives in Switzerland. We have mentioned that we haven't seen the best of Martina Hingis yet in this tournament. And I think that's a sign of a good player. Someone who, even when they're not playing their very best tennis, can still manage to find a way to win. And I think Martina said that in a press conference a few days ago. She said she's not completely happy with the way she's playing, but she is playing the important points well. Yep. And uh, if, you, if you can uh, play um, well and win, even though you're not your best, that, that bodes well for you when you do get up to top speed. Well, tennis is a 12-month sport, isn't it? You, there's no off-season, and when you're number one in the world, you're never supposed to lose. And, that, and that's a pretty tough act to follow week in and week out on the tour. Well, let's take a look and see how these players got to the semifinals. This is Hingis. Uh, Lisa Raymond, that was not an easy match for her. She said she was nervous coming out. She won it in straight sets. Then Makarova, and then Lihoseva, straight sets. That was the first bit of uh, sunshine there. She played well there. And, uh, and then she's played well, and then a three-setter against Sanchez, Sanchez Vicario. And that was a good match because Sanchez Vicario was playing well. It certainly was a good match, but it was a completely contrasting match of what you'll see today. Both girls mainly on the baseline. Played more like a clay court match. Now let's see how Novotna got to this point. Easy first round, lost a set in the second round, and then you see she hadn't lost a set since. It's Berlea, two and three. That's, that's a very good result there. And then a very tight, good match against Venus Williams, uh, coming from 1-4 down to the first set. Uh, Novotna, 1-7-5, 7-6. So we, we will have contrasting styles here. We'll have Novotna trying to get to the net at all costs. And we'll have Fingus basically trying to push Novotna around, keep her on the baseline, and having a counterpunch trying to make the passing shots. And it makes for inter interesting tennis, doesn't it, when you get such a contrast in styles. You've got some of the great rivalries of women's tennis. Chris Evert, Martin Navratilova, Steffi Graf, Martin Navratilova. You've got one person determined to impose their will on the other person. This is the ninth time these two players have met. And uh, Hingis leads in their head-to-head -head series 6-2. to two. Last time they played was this year in Hamburg on clay where Hingis won 6-3, 7-5. And, and that's not much of a surprise that Hingis would beat Novotna on clay, but this is a different surface. It is. This is a surface that um, I'm sure Jan Novotna would like to play on every week of the year. Her, her grass court game is perfectly suited, or her game is perfectly suited to grass, and um, Martina Hingis adapts well to grass. She has played pretty well so far, as we've mentioned, but uh, today will be a real test for her. She really hasn't, or oh, she played Lisa Raymond in the first round, and that was the only grass quarter she's really played. Yeah. Uh, Hingis, I don't think, is hitting her forehand as well as she usually does. She seems to be sort of brushing up the back of the ball in, in the matches we've seen her play. Doesn't get much penetration on the forehand, and a lot of them land short. And that could be an invitation for Novotna to try to come forward, get in the net position. It is a chilly day today. It's sort of blustery, overcast. And on the cool side, you can see Hingis warming up with her jacket on. But... but I think pretty much uh, ideal conditions, would you say, Liz? Most definitely. Um, Jan Novotna, as we've discussed earlier, has got a very high ball toss on her serve. That would be something that she'll need to keep under.